Trigger Squad, T. Antonio, owner and creator of Trigger Devils. Today I've got the promised AMA, Ask Me Anything video. Uh, I am recording this on my phone, so I can't use my phone to read the questions, so I've got to use my laptop, old school style. So let's get into the questions. You guys asked some really cool stuff. First question, are you going to come out with themed Trigger Devils? Examples are Call of Duty Battlefield Star Wars. So. These are called licensed deals. And uh, so if you see any other products that use like Star Wars or Call of Duty or whatever, they paid the people who own that IP money to use their name. Yes, I'd love to. In fact, when I was at COD XP, I was talking to people who are at Activision about licensing. And I definitely, definitely would love to do a Call of Duty licensed Trigger Devils. We're not quite big enough to really do that yet, but it's absolutely something we should be doing and uh, uh, you see you guys see control freaks do it all the time they come up with their Call of Duty zombies control freaks or you know the infinite warfare ones uh, that I think that they just came out with so yes we do plan on doing licensing deals they are expensive and we will get there though shout out to Daniel for asking that one by the way Next question is from Throw. I know you throw. You're around all the time. Thank you for all the, the support. And Throw asks, uh, what was the grind like to start such a successful company? The grind is still happening. Like, Tr Trigger Devils, you know, I understand Trigger Devils has had some success. And uh, and we're continuing to, like, grow and have success. But, dude, we are still very much in the startup grind right now. And what is it like? It's hard to describe. It's great and it's also the hardest thing ever. Think of it this way. You can focus on one task or one thing for a day or for a week or for a couple of weeks. But to focus on one thing for like a year or two years and that the, the long term focus that and think of all the things that, that happen throughout your life in those years to continue to continue to bang on that same door over and over and over on good days and on bad days that is what the startup grind is like it can be very very tough but it can also be because you're doing it so long it can also be so so rewarding i mean think about like i think back to the day that i don't know if you guys remember the day that i got the patent for trigger devils like that was two years in the making and it just that domino fell all at once and it was just like overwhelmed with emotions it was just like is it was surreal so only moments like that can be created through grinding for a long long time that's what it's like Graves asks, what makes Trigger Devils different than Trigger Stops, like Scuff or Cinch? Uh, yeah, that's a really good question. All right, so here's a scoop. Trigger Devils are a first of kind Trigger Stop. We focused on the Trigger. So other controller companies have always added Trigger Stops as kind of like a, an upsell or an add-on feature in their already suite of like controller modifications all we do are trigger stops so we were able to really focus and change the way the trigger functions and at a level that no one's really thought of yet and that's another reason why we have the patent for these things the way that trigger devils are different i'll just n number them out one they're attachable trigger stops they go on the controllers that people already have i know that that may not be super meaningful if you've already got you know a, a scuff or cinch or whatever um but for many, like hundreds of thousands of gamers, just have the standard PS4 or Xbox One controller. And that's a big deal to give them the option to just add it right onto the controller they already have. Number two, we measure the trigger stop so precisely, no one will be able to get it as close as we have. It is so sharp. You can just ask any of the YouTubers or streamers we work with. It is phenomenally short. It almost feels like it's not going to shoot the gun, but it does. Number three is that we, we created the rocker pad. And this is another thing that's covered in our patent, but it allows you to press the R2 and the R1 button at the same time. And apparently we time things perfectly because Infinite Warfare is going to let you shoot and throw grenades at the same time. So I don't, I mean, we demoed it. It was fantastic at COD XP. It's going to blow up. It is a functionality that is 100% original to to trigger devils no one has ever done that before and we're the first to do it super proud and i cannot wait for the future like that is the most exciting thing is the rocker pad 
Okay, so that's it for the Twitter questions. We're gonna move on over to the YouTube questions. Funky Monkey asks, what were you like in high school? What a great question. I don't even know what made you think of this man, but that's a good question. I was not like I am now. I'm like, I was the complete opposite. I, I'll be completely straight up with you guys. I was not a very happy teenager. Like I just, the struggle was real. I was super, super poor. And I just felt like all of life was against me. And I was just so uncomfortable and awkward. And I just didn't like myself. And it was, it was a mess. It was a mess. And it took me a long time to grow out of that stuff. So I would say, uh, I was friendly with most people, but I wasn't really being myself. And uh, the other thing that you probably would want to know is that I was a skater for many years. And uh, I was actually a pretty good skater. I eventually ended up quit quitting skateboarding uh, because I just got tired of hurting myself. Like falling just sucks and it hurts. And the better you get, the more it hurts. Uh, except for, I guess some people get better at falling, but I just never did. So I just always smack the ground really hard. So uh, yeah, so that's when I was like in high school skater mixed with like awkward and not really being myself. C Day asks, I don't know if I pronounce you. I, C Day, you're you're all over the place. I know who you are, but I just don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right. So sorry if I got that wrong. Uh, he asks, Are we planning on doing other colors for Trigger Devils? Absolutely. This first one is black. It's super murdered out. It's awesome. But we are absolutely going to be placing orders for different colors. That's going to be relatively easy for us to do. Uh, so that's probably one of the next things we're going to do uh, once we replenish our inventory. We'll hopefully order a new color. And I, I have a plan, actually, based on some of our existing sales, uh, what colors to order first. So absolutely, that is coming. That's all we have for questions today. If you guys had questions that I did not respond to, that's fine. I'll probably do end up doing another AMA as long as you guys enjoyed this. Drop a like on the video if you did. Subscribe if you are new. And that's all I got for you guys. I have to go order, or I have to go fill orders. You guys will not stop ordering Trigger Devils, and it's just keeping me really busy. So I got to go fill orders again. It's no problem, dude. I appreciate you guys supporting the business so much. Anyway, subscribe, like, comment down below, and that's all I got for you, Team Tornado. Out.